Hello, Sanonatics! My name is Sanders, and today, I'm going to review another action figure which is popular here in the Philippines since 90s. This time, I will show you the SH Figure Arts Mask Rider Black from Bandai, a tokusatsu hero featured in the show Kamen Rider Black, which is also known as Mask Rider Black in English and Tagalog dub. The front of the box lets you have a glimpse of the actual action figure through a clear plastic window, and shows wonderful art of the Mask Rider Black. For the side of the box show is the main Mask Rider Black, Mask Rider Black pose on the other side, and at the back of the box showcase the gaming and feature of the actual figure and an introduction to the battle cover. Upon opening the box, you will get a four pairs of hand manipulators and the Mask Rider Black figure itself. Mask Rider Black is a tokotatsu hero who is very popular to the Filipinos. Kotaro Minami, or well known as Robert Akizuki on Tagalog dub, was kidnapped on his 19th birthday, together with his stepbrother Nobuhiko or well-known as Stephen on Tagalog dub, by a cult known as Gorgom. Both stepbrothers were submitted to a cyborg surgery to become a candidate to become the creation king. Luckily, Robert escaped before he got brainwashed and turned against Gorgom. Unfortunately for Stephen, he was successfully turned evil by the cult. For the figure, Mass Rider Black aesthetic was very good. SH figure arts ensure that they capture all the details that the actual suit has into this figure. The color separation was vivid with matte paint. No color correcting stickers used in this figure which is awesome. The proportion, paint details, and overall aesthetic was also awesome. The figure was also solid and there's no loose parts that keeps popping off when you try to pose this figure. Look at the face of this thing! Now let's take a look of what kind of accessories this kit comes with. Mass Rider Black has a total of 10 hand manipulators. The two fist hands was initially attached on the figure. There is also a pair of karate chopping hands, pair of grabbing hands, pair of posing hands, and two holding hands. Head can spin, magazine ball joint, shoulder can rotate 360 degrees, shoulder can move forward and backward, Arms all the way up, double hinge bicep bend and swivel. Hands are both on ball joints. Waist are on ball joint. Let's think about this part and that part. Decent speed. Double hinge bend at the knee. Both feet on ball joints that can tilt. And toe bend. Here are the comparison to my other toy collection Lego minifigure. Karatawi Pikachu Jolly Kitty Mail Jolly Kitty Around the World Philippines Bandai Automorphic Pink Creator Flip Head One to one forty four no grade in the dumb to a Rebel Tech bootleg Woody. SH Figure Arts Mass Rider Black Renewal was a very impressive action figure. The only downside I see in this figure are the durability of its antenna. The figure itself is solid, but I'm very worried about the thin antenna on its head. The antenna itself was made of plastic in which can be snapped off anytime if you keep the figure out on this box. Overall, I will give this toy this face reaction. <laughs> Mask Rider Black was a must-have figure to any Filipino toy collectors who was born in the late 80s or early 90s. Aside from being iconic, the SH Figure Arts Mask Rider Black Renewal version is also a high-quality action figure that both superb aesthetics, details, and articulation. Even as the figure arts price was expensive, you will still satisfied purchasing this product to add on your collection. Despite of having no accessories aside hand manipulators, pursuing character expression through human deduction would be enough. This is my personal review, my own point of view, and see you next time for more!